There it is. Welcome back to another fishing video. But first, I'm gonna get to pouring. Today we bring you the Black Bottle by Gordon Grahams. Very affordable, blended Scotch whiskey. So, let's do it. It's almost out. Don't judge me, guys. See, look. Gotta go buy another one now. Put that off to the background. Today we got the Dangler. Right? Right? Who doesn't love the name? It's a quick grab rod holder. That's kind of a tongue twister. So I'll... Essentially what it does is you're you're allowed to fish um, at a more comfortable level. And what I mean by that is the rod is sitting up higher, so you're not always having to look down so much. Um, your peripheral vision will pick up the rod's movement while you use this product. So let's see if I can get a little close-up of the product itself and the features. So we have the no bobber needed, quick hook setting, right or left hand use, lightweight and compact, use your own rod and reel, detects light bites at rod tip, less tension when a fish strikes, smooth action when line is, wa is in the water, balances most rods and reel combinations, and keeps the rod and reel up for better visibility. And that's what I mean by that. Um, peripheral vision, it's higher up, uh, think about how you're sitting on the ground. It's just better awareness of the actual rod. And you'll be able to get your strikes a lot quicker and more timely. And best of all, made in the USA. That's kind of what it looks like set up. Some instructions. Loosen the wig nut, make the plus sign, and then raise the vertical support arm. Pretty simple. And then there's a little hook and strap that you use to hook on to that little uh, point right there. I'll get, I'll get to that in a second. So here is the product in all its glory. It, it measures about a foot long. Um, this is in the compact form. So if you throw this in the bottom of your sled, pretty low risk that it's going to get damaged. And this is the first time out of the bag, so I have no idea how it's going to perform. But it's more of an unboxing, and then later on I'll show you some actual footage of it in action once I get on the ice. Excuse that hit. So, in the wing nut. Uh, wing nuts down here. I will do that and see if I can get that in focus. There we go. All right, the wing nut is loosened. So now it says to create that plus sign. All right, so here's what I'm learning. Um, as you move this, that's all simple it is. Just gotta lift this edge because there's there's a little bit of a lip inside this point right here. Now you got the plus. As, the turn, as shown in the instructions. Um, lift the vertical arm until you hear it snap, it says. And looks like it's essentially set up. Now I'm gonna tighten this nut. The dangler. Totally set up and uh, it is all made out of plastic except for that wing nut. Just be mindful of that. This point right here, this comes with that strap that goes on your fishing pole. So I'll remove that. And once you get it on, there's a little bit of retention, so just push, and you push this around the top, like so. So you have this little piece, and your little uh, rod, plus this little Velcro device that sits inside here. And this is bread and butter where it dangles. Let me get a fishing rod all rigged up. So here is the entire concept of this product. Keeps it off the ground, um, gives you better visualization. Granted, having a white rod, not the best when it's snow, when you have snow cover, but different story. Essentially, when a fish takes your bait, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start pulling, right? Very slowly. And then as it starts pulling, the tip drops. And that's your trigger to pay attention to the rod. So what happens is once you get, you know, the cue, you just pick this straight up off of that little hook point, and in theory, it's supposed to release. And it says to pack the bottom full of snow so it doesn't fly off the handle, but I'm going to try it without snow, clearly, because there's no snow here. But let's see what happens. So I pick it straight up. 
that's pretty good. And notice that this release point goes up with it, so it's not hung up, and it has free range of motion. So that's kind of neat. Um, let's see. Yeah, so what happens is this little, here, let me get you a zoom in. So as the rod rests on this metallic point right there, it this thing moves back and forth. So as you lift it, what's going to happen is gravity pushes that circular piece back so it can't re-rest back down, so you, less chance of getting tangled up or hung up. So, pretty cool device. I'm excited to try it out. And I hate leaving my rods on the ice. I feel like you just have a cleaner setup if it's off the ice, so. Cool product, trademark, simple, cheap. Say cheap, about 25 bucks. Who doesn't have 25 bucks? As an ice angler, there is no budget. That's one thing I've learned. So, if there's a cool product, I want to try it out. And here's one that everyone should go try out. Thanks for tuning in. Anza 04, out. It's time to go get it done. 20 mile an hour winds. It's cold as hell. Oh shit. There it is. I think there's a hit on the dangler. Oh yeah, here we go. You'll see it in action from over here. Maybe. Oh yeah. No, I just lost it at the hole. That sucks. Oh well, you guys saw it in action.